Hello, my fellow adventurers! This is Belucha, and welcome back to New World. I do have to apologize. First off, I'm a little late for this update. I was in a situation where I was thinking I did every quest in New World, and, well, well, Destiny is coming out with a little update, a new season, and then New World's coming up with a little update. But after that, I'm gonna be in a kind of a slum where I don't really have a lot to record, at least not daily. And then V Rising came along, and now I have three games to record, and I don't have the time to record everything in one go. I, I just don't. And it, not only recording, like the editing and everything else, like, I'm in a luxury problem right now where I actually run behind recording New World. But the update is live for a couple days already. The PvP update is here. We got also got the Depths with mutated version right now. And, uh, well, better rewards after it. And we also got a bunch of reworks on weapons and skills. But one really important one for me as a healer, which I also, of course, want to look into. But first, 3 versus 3 is here. And with 3 versus 3 came a PvP rank reward system. So let's quickly take a look. So we got uh, bio attributes, weapon mastery, straight skill, and PvP and achievements right now. So how it works. So we got checkpoint progress or track by engaging in PvP missions. Track 1, checkpoint 2, checkpoint 3. Checkpoint 1, 2, and 3. Okay. How it works. <laughs> That's basically uh, better than me trying to figure it out. So, PvP Rewards Track. The PvP Reward Track contains PvP-specific rewards for doing PvP activities in the game. The track can be completed and run again to get different selection of rewards. So, you can reset it. That's what I'm understanding. Okay. With more prestigious rewards becoming available as more tracks are completed. PvP XP. Progress your track by engaging in PvP missions. War. Outpost. Rush. Hell yes! Capturing forts, defeating other players, 3 vs 3 arena, and earning XP while flagged. I do have to say, guys, I 3 vs 3, a lot of PvP players are a fan of it. I'm not a PvP player, and I'm definitely not a fan of 3 vs 3 arena. It always ends up like... I, I saw the arena already in the game, and it's like it has like three pillars and a circle in the middle, and then I think a circle uh, on like a higher level circle around it, if I remember correctly. And games like those always tend to be like pillar wars where you just line of sight constantly and try to. I, I really, I really don't like it. I do like the group setting, like twenty versus twenty. I love that. A war is it's kind of fun. I did a couple, but. It, again, I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know. But Outpost Rush I love. And it's really good to see that Outpost Rush is actually going to be in there to upgrade the PvP XP. And then we got Azot Salt. Azot Salt is the currency that gets you rewards from the PvP track. You can gain Azot Salt by engaging in War, Outpost Rush, 3 vs 3 Arena, PvP Missions, PvP Open World Skills, and earning XP while flagged. And then rewards, choose between unique rewards such as prestigious armor and weapons, emotes, currencies, and consumables. Alright, perfect. And then if we go to modes, I've talked about this a little while back with, I think with the previous update that we got. Modes has Outpost Rush in it. And it also has 3 vs 3 Arena in it. Why isn't War and Invasions not in here? Like, it would be really nice if you had a tab that actually shows you the wars that were being held. That that were actively being held. Like, this war will happen in two hours in that continent. This war will happen tomorrow in that part of the continent. Invasions. This invasion will happen in so many hours in that part of the map. Like, it would be insane if we just... Well, got all the different modes in here. But, yeah. 3 versus 3... Is in the game uh, arena. Two teams battle to eliminate each other by the last team standing. Have a chance at unique rewards. Players can only use the consumables granted to them in the beginning of each match. When in this game mode. Win three rounds to win the match. When the time is up. A fire will engulf the arena. As the round progresses. Healing is reduced. And Q for level 60. So you do need to be level 60 before you can actually play it. 
And then, yeah, Outpost Rush is in there, guys. So, really, really happy about that one. There was, and that's basically something I do want to check out. So, the cooldown was reduced by Divine Embrace. So, this one cooldown was increased. And the amount of healing was decreased. Making Divine Embrace a much, much... Like... The amount of, of buffs you need to actually get the same amount of weapon damage healing would be like getting four or five buffs on yourself. Like, I think around the max amount of buffs before you actually reach the amount of weapon damage healing that you could do with the Vine Embrace. And then the Vine Embrace also had the um, mana uh, costs uh, increased, uh, decreased, I think. So it costs less mana. And then... Well, yeah, you, if you actually heal the proper target, you heal a second target for, well, an additional heal. Like, you just, it's like doing two Lights Embraces at the same uh, at the same time before the patch. Like, I think this is kind of going to be good, but I don't know. I'm going to have to play with it. So, I'm going to respec and actually go into an Outpost Rush and actually see what this... This track looks like, so I need 2,000 XP. Progress your track by engaging, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so I need 2,000 XP for the first track. Do have to say, the heals are pretty, pretty big. Come on, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Like 6k easily without too many buffs. That's actually pretty huge. I've got already a couple, a couple double heals in there, and then you do heal the other person for like easily enough. Problem is, it's a duration on the heal, and sometimes you just you just too slow to actually heal. Yeah, six Ks, not bad, not bad. Kind of, kind of liking it. And you can move while you're actually healing, so that's not too bad either. It's not like you need to stand still to actually cast it. Like you, you walk, it's not like you can run or sprint, but... I kinda, kinda like it. It's a slower pace of healing, you do have to... Pay attention to it, but so far I'm kind of satisfied. Lights and Braze is still a little bit faster off cooldown, and it is a little bit faster to cast, but the amount it heals is just totally. See, I didn't make it, and I used to make that heal. I used to make that heal. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna make the switch. Like, even being able to run and heal is definitely good. It's definitely good, but. The amount that you heal is just way too low, and between the difference in, in well, the timers, like, you don't have Lights Embrace as fast as possible, as fast as you used to. It, it, and it's not a possibility that you can also heal somebody else, like, and even if you go all the way in the tree, you can actually heal two other people. Like, that is insane, you can heal three people with one spell. Uh, it seems like we're gonna win our. Uh, I'm gonna win my first uh, round with the new PvP system. So the new healing setup that I'm gonna use is this one, guys. Uh, we don't need Spirits United anymore because Spirits United was only good if you had to have buffs for the Lights and Brace one. Uh, so I'm basically gonna go with a chance to heal a third person. Uh, so heal one, heal two, heal three, and then uh, yeah, Beacon and well. Sacred Ground, of course. So let's see how many points we actually get. A win is 2,000 points and 2,000 Azot Salt. That is huge. I, I was thinking like maybe 500. Oh, so checkpoint one is actually all three rewards. So what do we get? A bundle of faction tokens? Bundle would contain 1,400 tokens, okay. 240 gold, or 
Zebulus Charm, Superior's Charm, and Infused Health Potions. For 700. So this is... Okay, so... For every checkpoint that you forgo choosing a reward, you'll be granted 300 Azot Salt when the next track starts. So I got 2000 points now, meaning I could get the coins and the small bundle if I don't want to have the health potions. Small super potion pack. Tier 5. Okay, let's go with... Let's get the coin. Oh, I can only... Ah, oh, damn it. I can only pick one. I wanted to pick two. And if I could pick two, I would have gone for the faction tokens. Because I need them for my... How, how many get, do I got? Bio? Yeah, I need the faction tokens to buy my, uh, <laughs> my chips. I do have to say I'm getting quite gritty healing out there at... This is the most healing I've done in months. Like months. First, I'm first of my team by healing. That hasn't happened for months. Of course, OPR is not the only way to get your hands on some Azot Salt or some PvP XP. So these uh, PvP missions also grant you 500 PvP XP. And from what I can read in the chat, uh, apparently there's like some bugging going on or some looks like purple is not invited to the cheaty way to get pvp points keeps going green yellow i'm sure in a couple days capping forts won't give anything because of this so yeah there is a apparently uh capping forts was also a means to actually like uh i think it's cutlass keys uh so basically it's contested now by there we go so now it's marauders and if we wait a little bit it's gonna be contested so the marauders are going off the point and then like the other faction is going on a point and every time you cap it or you help capping it you actually get points as well but i'm not really sure how many points you're gonna get how much do i actually need pvp so it would be 5,000, that means 10 quests. You would need 10 quests to do the... Well, you need 2,000 for the first track. And then you would need 3,000 for the next track. And then the track beyond that is 10,000. So you need 5,000. Uh, well, you need 10,000 in total to get all the tracks. Meaning if you win 5 OPRs, you basically have it. If you do 20 PvP missions, you basically have it. Uh, so the checkpoint to the rewards, a uh, small pile of faction tokens, so 3,000 instead of the 1,400 small bundle. So a small pile this time, 3,000 tokens, not bad. We get the Scheming Cosmic Lifestaff of the Sage with 29 focus and then Blessed and Keenly Fortified. Blessed, okay, Keenly Fortified, yeah, no. Um, Lifestaff that I have is still gonna be better. And then we get a large Astro Potion pack, uh, Astro Potion pack tier five. So it does depend on how much points you get or how long the fight lasts. I'm not really sure, but this was like an overwhelming victory. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't like heal anything. There wasn't anything to heal. Like we completely out, outperformed them. So uh, yeah, 1,750, still not bad. We get a heavy headwear strength, shirking heals. Heals 100 health and 1% of your health max HP. That's actually shirking health. It's actually a nice, nice perk. And then dexterity shirking heals, empowering fireball on a dexterity gear. Yeah, both uh, pretty trash. And then 650 gold coins out of out of all three. I'm I'm gonna pick the gold coins like dexterity with fireball and then strength with purifying scream yeah not not really so let's pick this one buy and if you buy it you instantly uh reset it and we get what a vial of azot salt so each vial contains a thousand azot salt open the vial to add azot salt to your balance so it works kind of like the regular azot uh, flasks and then 750 azot plus reward pool plus emotes okay so we got an emote now um, track one is complete so okay for bronze we need to complete five tracks for silver 20 tracks 
didn't actually notice that. Uh, 50 tracks for gold, 100 tracks for platinum, and 200 tracks completed for star metal, guys. So I do presume there's going to be like 200 tracks in total, but I wonder what's happened after that. Like hardcore PvP players, they're, I'm not going to say that they're going to be there in a week unless they abuse, but... Getting there, is, is it going to be like you can keep resetting it, but it doesn't go over 200? And I, I I have no idea. We'll have to see, right? So, uh, yeah, now we have a new checkpoint on silver. And for this, it is again 2,000 experience, 5,000 experience, and 10,000. So, in total, you need 10,000 experience to actually unlock the next track. And, of course, we get nine choices of rewards again. I kind of kind of like this one. And PvP Scrindle reached the Steel PvP rank. So, there is new achievements in here as well. I kind of should actually go into a 3 versus 3 battle. But it's an arena ground, guys. We've seen it in hundreds of uh, games before. It's a round circle with the three pillars in it. And 3 versus 3 players actually fight it out to the last man standing. Uh, so, yeah, honestly, I'm really not interested in, in 3 vs 3. I'm just happy that oh, Outpost Rush actually has a means to actually complete this as well. So, I'm going to keep playing Outpost Rush and keep going up the ranks, guys. I want to see which rewards are all still in there. Like I said, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Let's sit our ass down like we always do. If you want to see more of my quest progression or my Let's Play here in New World, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.